Hello everyone, welcome back to AppDev channel. In today's video, we will talk about the two services that are present in the AWS cloud. Those are the AWS Systems Manager parameter store and the AWS Secrets Manager. So before we dive into these two services, what is the necessity and what are the scenarios that we need to use these two services that we know it. So in any enterprise application, right, uh, in general what we do, we generally uh, store the database credentials and some uh, external service URLs that are to be secured and some encryption and decryption keys and license keys and some secure IDs, right. All these, in, apart from writing the source code, we in in the source code, we will be using uh, this kind of uh, configuration related data in our application code base, right? So in such scenarios, what we do, we generally write them in some constant file or in some uh, uh, properties files in uh, Spring Boot applications, right? So, you know, so we are uh, generally using them from the referring them from the property file into our code base. But uh, ideally, these configuration related data or the credentials uh, database credentials whatever the uh, encryption keys if we use in our code base they should be isolated from the code so in a scenarios right when the database credentials are need to be changed or the urls have to be changed or the license keys have to be changed encryption decryption keys have to be changed right in such scenarios there should not be any application code modification or the redeployment of the application so if we are maintaining them in along with the code base we have to modify the code and redeploy the application so in such scenarios right we have to maintain these out of the application code base so the in when we deploy such application and when we want to maintain this configuration related data out of the application that is deployed in the AWS cloud then we have to store it in an isolated place right so first service that comes to our mind is to use an S3 so in the early days of the cloud right the developers who are developing the applications they used to maintain the configuration in the S3 as an object so whenever that is required to get the object configuration data like credentials or the encryption decryption keys, right? They used to refer the uh, object that is stored in the S3 and connect to the database or use it for the decryption or encryption, whatever the configuration they are getting from S3. But S3 is not like uh, to store the configuration data, right? So it is to object. Uh, it is like an object storage to store some files or some some documents or something right so that is when aws has introduced the another service as part of the systems manager that is the parameter store okay so you developers are creating the configuration related data in parameter store okay but later on aws has introduced another service like aws secrets manager okay so here comes the parameter store on the AWS secret manager where we can store our configuration application related configurations in an isolated manner okay so when we have the parameter store why the AWS has introduced a secrets manager store what is the difference between the parameter store and secrets manager that we will get to know in a minute but before knowing the differences between them let's uh, uh, try to find out the similarities between them okay so what are the similarities between aws uh, secret manager and parameter stories like they both support uh, the data or the urls or the encryption keys in the form of uh, key value pairs okay so when we store the data right they both support uh, at least uh, at least 4 kb of the data that can be uh, stored in the parameter store okay in each uh, parameter in each parameter or in each secret that we store in those particular stores like secret manager or parameter store right so when we store the data in these stores right or in the secret manager or in parameter store we can use a kms 
okay for encrypting the data so okay with there we will uh, configure the key id encryption key that can be used and that kms id that uh, can be configured uh, to use for encrypting the data that is getting stored in the secrets or in the parameter store okay they both support the kms as an encryption key and also the cloud formation integration so in general right in uh, any uh, enterprise applications uh, we don't create the aws services in the console rather we create the services through uh, cloud formation scripts so it is like an infrastructure as a code okay uh, we build the services or the infrastructure through cloud formation scripts so in the cloud formation scripts also you can refer to the secrets that are there in the secret manager or parameters that are there in the parameter store you don't have to hard code the secrets or secret values in your cloud formation scripts you can just refer the secrets or parameter store keys in your cloud formation scripts okay that kind of integration is also available with both of the services now that we know the similarities between these two services right now let's try to identify what are the differences why we need the secrets manager why aws has introduced the secrets manager when we are already having the parameter store that let's get to it when by finding the differences between them so these are the differences between uh, secrets manager and parameter store so whenever we need uh, some kind of uh, uh, encrypted data on an encrypted data you want to store then you have to you can use the parameter store but whenever we are storing something it is only the encrypted data will be stored in the secrets manager so when we store some data in secrets manager right they will use some uh, uh, automatic key rotation uh, is available uh, to encrypt the data the, that is there in the secrets manager Okay, but for, for parameter store key rotation is there but uh, we have to manually uh, we have to write our own lambda function and to rotate the key that is uh, encrypting the data that is stored in the parameter store okay similarly uh, the the secrets that are stored in uh, one aws account or one region right they can be uh, copied or carried to another regions or another accounts but that is not possible to share the parameter store the parameters that are stored in the parameter store okay when it comes to cost right okay uh, we have the free trial period for 30 days that is when we start creating your first secret in the secret manager from then you will be having a free access to create the secrets for 30 days and there are some 40 cents per secret per month later on and if you want to call the secrets by using the api aws sdk api calls then 5 cents per 10000 api calls when it is coming to parameter store right there are two kinds of parameters that we can store in the parameter store standard parameters and the advanced parameters okay for standard parameters uh, there is no building up to 10000 parameters you can create them and you can use the api calls uh, to get the standard parameter values without any uh, cost associated to it but when it comes to advanced parameters right uh, there is 5 cents uh, for each advanced parameter per month and also 10000 parameter store api interactions will be you have to pay a uh, five cents okay so these are the different uh, differences between the secrets manager and parameter store but when to use the uh, secrets manager and parameter store right when you want the data always to be encrypted and you don't bother about the costly of the service cost of the services and you also want the key to be rotated automatically without your manual scripts then you can go ahead with the secrets manager okay parameter store is something like uh, what all information that we can store in the secret manager that also can be stored in the parameter store is only the difference with the key rotation and uh, 
some limitations and some cost related problems in such scenarios you can go to parameter store so the one uh, point which i wanted to highlight in my uh, experience is that the secret manager whatever the value you create in uh, what, whatever the secret you create in secret manager that can be updated right from the aws console by the users who are uh, having a, the access to the uh, aws console okay suppose uh, uh, suppose there is a, an application that is deployed to production and uh, uh, there are some production support users team will be there right they wanted to modify some of the url uh, on demand whenever it is required some url some external backend url that is configured in the secrets manager was down due to some some issues in such scenarios if, if they wanted to make move it to some other external backend service url they can directly the support team can directly go to uh, the aws console because they will be having the access to aws console right so in such scenarios they can go to the secret manager and they can update the uh, value uh, on the fly and the application don't have to be redeployed just because of the change of the URL. Not only the application, but uh, not, the, not the infrastructure has to be deployed. But in case of parameter store, right, when you store such URLs in a parameter store, the and if you want to change the, any URL or any configuration that is stored in the parameter store, you have to redeploy the cloud formation script that has deployed the parameter store. You cannot directly update a value of this parameter in the console. Okay. That's what I wanted to highlight uh, among the differences between secret manager usage and the parameter store usage in case of the production applications, real time uses. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will talk about building a Spring Boot application that reads the secrets that are stored in the secret manager on application startup. That is the example which we are going to do in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please give it a like, share and subscribe to Abdo channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.